Let's answer some questions. A viewer asks, I'm interested in the subject of other universes. Do you think they can exist in the same space we do and that may explain dark matter? To start with, to answer this question, I'm gonna talk about dark matter and what we know about it. So this is a map of the bullet cluster. This shows a galaxy cluster colliding and the potential that we map due to the dark matter that we observe from this image. Now, this is one of the strongest pieces of evidence that we have from astrophysics that dark matter is actually out there and it actually exists. When the um, galactic rotation curves were first discovered to not be consistent with the laws of gravity based off of their velocities being too large, it was speculated that rather than there being hidden matter called dark matter, that maybe we just didn't have the correct law of gravity. So a whole new theory arose called modified gravity. Um, and scientists actually explored the possibility that dark matter didn't exist and that it was actually that the laws of gravity as understood by Newtonian physics and general relativity needed to be changed. Like maybe Newton's gravitational constant actually wasn't a constant or maybe the distance scales that we had for gravity weren't quite right in that maybe instead of it being a one over r squared power law where the force um, drops off as one over r squared maybe it was one over r squared plus some small little corrective term mathematically but due to intense research a lot of these modified gravitational theories have been excluded the next step was what if it is a particle that just doesn't emit light. Is that possible? It is. We actually have already discovered one type called the neutrino. They're very important in nuclear interactions. If you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about neutrinos. We've actually discovered one type of dark matter. But we don't think that the dark matter here in this bullet cluster is neutrinos because in order to produce this kind of potential, these particles have to be very slow moving. And neutrinos move almost at the speed of light. So it can't be caused by neutrinos. However, there's more issues with this model of cold dark matter, which we call slow dark matter particles that are essentially not emitting light, but they're not moving fast like neutrinos, which are called hot dark matter. And the problem with the cold dark matter theory is that we haven't detected these particles, even though we've produced a lot of different interactions in CERN. In fact, one of the biggest criticisms of particle physics and what so many uh, critics of the LHC point out is that the LHC was built to try to detect these supersymmetric particles that were thought to be dark matter that are predicted in certain models of particle physics that go beyond the standard model. However, they've never been detected. So right now we're sort of at a juncture where we don't know what dark matter is, the cold dark matter that seems to be slow moving, that seems to be affecting the velocities of objects in space, causing them to go faster because there's more mass there in, within this orbit than what we observe from uh, matter that is illuminating, that's producing light. And in nature, we already have discovered one type of dark matter that does, emit, that does not emit light um, called the neutrino. So we have some evidence that we should still keep looking. But now let's talk about the question that was just asked. What about multiple dimensions? Could, or, di or different universes, I should say. What about multiple universes? Could that be an actual thing that could have anything to do with dark matter? I wanna stress that right now, we currently don't have any evidence that this is the case. However, there's one little interesting point to think about, and that's that in certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, especially, especially many worlds, when a particle described by a wave function goes through a process where it can take multiple paths, the many worlds theorists will say that the particle actually takes those paths, like a photon in a beam splitter can go to two different paths. But interestingly, if these photon paths are then brought back together, they interfere with each other constructively or destructively and affect the future path, which means that in this interpretation, these particles described by quantum mechanics are traversing multiple universes, but they're still able to 
interact with each other in certain ways through quantum interference. So what I would say is that although we don't have any evidence currently that the, this dark matter could be due to gravitational effects from other universes, if gravity does behave in a way consistent with other quantum fields and exhibits quantum interference, and if many worlds theory is valid, which we don't know if either of those things are true or not, but one way I would say that it could be possible if those other two things are possible is that perhaps then gravitational effects could also be a quantum interference effect where objects that are located in other universes are interacting in ways that influence the paths of objects in the universe that we observe. And yet the net sum is not just due to what we can observe in our universe, but all of the universes combined. So that would mean that this would be some sort of a quantum gravity effect that was essentially involving many worlds and that the quantum gravitational field could be um, influenceable in a way where objects can travel through multiple universes and influence each other. And like I said, with the photon, there are some theorists who say that the photon essentially traverses every possible path in different universes, an infinite number of them, and then the path that we observe is the net sum. So that's electrodynamics, that's quantum electrodynamics. It's a different force than gravity. We have a much better theory for quantum electrodynamics. We do not have a quantum theory of gravity. So that's the difference. And also we don't have definitive proof for or against many worlds being anything more than a mathematical curiosity in that quantum mechanics and the mathematics of quantum mechanics uh, permits many worlds. But from a physical standpoint, we don't actually know if it actually describes physical reality or if there's something incomplete in our current understanding of quantum mechanics. So there's too many unsolved problems to say anything definitive, but this question is very interesting and there's actually a lot more that we could say about this if we had more information. So I'll just summarize really quick. If dark matter is caused by matter from other universes interacting with matter in our universe, that would mean that gravitation is a quantum mechanical phenomenon, that it exhibits quantum mechanical interference effects, the same way that we observe with the wave function for um, quantum electrodynamics and other quantum mechanical systems. And then finally, if that is the case, then that would be one way that dark matter could be explained through multiple universes.